right, welcome back, good folks, kind people of the 2A community. And what we have here is an unboxing. Uh, I don't usually do unboxings every once in a while, but um, we got us a Keltec here. I know some people love them. Either you love them or you hate them. There's no in-betweens, I guess. So what we got here, and uh, if you're going to leave nasty comments on any of my videos or things like that, or just run off at the pie hole, just to let you know now, I'm just delete your comments because I ain't got time and life's too short for your negativity. So that's just a little, little uh, forewarning to you. You get deleted, you get the band hammer. And uh, like I said in my videos, um, it costs nothing to be nice to anyone. So just because you can hide between the keyboard and the internet doesn't mean you can do that. And uh, I just hope that the next Supreme Court justice pick is uh, Pro 2A. So now let's get into the, what we got here in the Keltec box. And this will be the third Keltec that I own. And it'll be the first one that's not blue in color. Because I have a PMR 30. Um, and it's blue. And I love that thing. Uh, it runs real good, and I got a sub 2000 that's blue, and I love that thing. It's a generation 2. I've done videos on both of them. So this one right here is a tabletop review and unboxing of the new Keltec, or well, new to me, because it's brand new. I just picked it up Saturday, um, P17. So here we go. This is what we get in the box. This one is nice and green. Of course, we get the standardized... Um, Keltec locking device which is a bolt, a screw, and some plastic and a key so yeah that's useless here we do we got our uh, cap cover and a wrench for multiple purposes for the gun alright so now what I have done and I'll be honest here we got our chamber flag indicator so we'll drop our magazine for the safety sallies out there. And, of course, it is empty. And then we'll be back to these magazines. So let's talk about that here. So we get not one, not two, but three 16-round magazines. Now, I'm not going to say anything bad about anybody else that makes 22 pistols. Um, Glock. These are 16 round mags and they're Keltex. I expected so much more out of Glock and their Glock 44. I actually dis was disappointed that they announced that the Glock 44 was 22 caliber. So, anyway, uh, we wanted something different. Anyway, um, so they come out with a 44 and you only get 10 round magazines that cost $40 or whatever they are. $30. So you got a base plate here so you can pull it out. They're all polymer. And we're going to load one up and of course we'll test that long term. And we'll, uh, but you get three of them. Three 16 round magazines. Now, Glock, you might want to pay attention to this. Smith & Wesson, um, Ruger, anybody else that makes 22 pistols? If kel can do this, so can you. Um, Taurus did a pretty good job with that TX-22, but I didn't go for the TX-22. I went for this one, and there's reasons why. Um, and maybe we'll we'll go through those later on. But, yeah, three 16-round magazines. Not bad at all. So you get one free pistol. In. So we get the pistol here. We got empty. We got our flag chamber flag indicator. So we'll uh, go ahead and put an empty magazine in there. So we can lock the pistol back. Take our flag indicator out of there. All right, get that right there. And then we got it locked back. So we got our standard safety. And let me tell you, it's ambidextrous safety on top of it. The slide release right here, right there, is only on the right side, or the, yeah, the left side of the pistol. You get your little arrow here because that goes forward. Um, 
so we'll move all the paperwork's in the bottom here stickers and all that so um put that out of the way here now i've already put the threaded end on there um so let's talk about some pluses here you get three 16 round magazines uh, does have a paddle style release, which is ambidextrous. Safety is ambidextrous. The slide release is not. Okay, not going to fault that. Here's your tape down lever right here. You uh, have a kind of a half slide cover here. That hold those two bolts right there hold your bolt in. By the way, you have uh, what looks to be an adjustable trigger, or sorry, an adjustable. Yep, sure enough, an adjustable rear sight. Right there, look at that. Spring loaded. You got it's a fiber optic front sight that's bolted in. Man, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight. Well, that beats Glock again there, doesn't it? 16 round magazines. Look at this, drop free. All the magazines are empty, of course, and they're all drop three. They're all polymer, and all of them are drop free. Look at that. You can't beat that with a dead horse. You can beat it with a dead Glock 44, can't you? Yeah, I'm going to hurt some fanboys because one of the fanboys is the one that attacked me over my Glock 44 PSA video, which was putting information out. I am a connoisseur of firearms. Um, there's only um, one or two brands that I won't feature on my channel until they're under new ownership. Springfield Arms Armory is being one of them um, until they're under new ownership for the crap that they did. Um another one is rock river arms they're they're just as guilty as uh springfield armory so those are two i won't do anyway so we got us a made in us a gun here of course with their polymer gun and grip it feels good in the hand it doesn't weigh a whole lot let's see release the slide here and we'll go ahead and pull that trigger right there as you take up right there and there's the wall and brakes. So let's see where it resets. There's your reset. It is somewhat audible. And right there at it, man, it's got a nice trigger on it. Probably five pound trigger, but it breaks crisp. Especially if you're going to um, hold it and then release it like that. Um, safety again, like I said, it, well, it only works if it's uh, cocked. So let's go ahead and cock it. Now, for you boys, the tactical operators out there that like to do a lot of slide checks or press checks, you're not going to be able to do it with this bad boy because, as you can see, it has a unique slide where this back is the slide. The mast is right here with the bolt. You got this rail right here. That's a rail cover, and it holds the bolt on. I don't know if you can put a RMR on there. I've seen people say, well, you can't. I see some people say you can't. I really hadn't seen it. Um, I may or may not try it. I got an RMR. I would like to put an RMR on this. That would be nice. So, there's you, there's the slide, how it operates. If you like to rack it back like this, you're going to have to slingshot it. You know, you have to slingshot it like this, like I do. So you'll have to slingshot it. That would be the hard thing. It does have a loaded in, uh, loaded chamber indicator on the back here. As you can see here, I pulled the trigger. Well, with the safety, was off. Pull the trigger, and then it disappears. There's your loaded chamber indicator. you got adjustable rear sights. Possible RMR. Does anybody have one of these and mounted the RMR on it? Let me know if you did and it worked successfully. Cycled fine. you got a... Um, you get your um oh hell you glow in the dark sight well not you glow in the dark sight your um true go insert sight right there uh you do have a front um rail here kind of small but i guess that's because of where the takedown lever is um that's just the way it is i went ahead and put that on there because i like it like that I'm going to get me a nut, or I got a cover somewhere around here. I got to find it and stick it on there. Um, I'm probably going to buy a silencer for this one. So next year, I'll get me a can. I'll break down and get me a can. Of course, that's if El Presidente uh, Trump wins again, which I, don't, I think he will. Um, if so, then I'll get me a can for it. 
I have not shot anything out of this yet. So this is the, you're seeing it new like I am for the first time. Um, I do like the OD green color on it. And like I said, it's made in Florida. P17 holds 16 rounds, one in the chamber that gives you 17 rounds of 22 long rifle. Um, lots of fun planking. So with the ammo shortage, I think this will be my new toy at the range. I got a Smith & Wesson um, M&P Compact 22 uh, pistol. We featured that on the channel before. Um, Victoria has snagged that away from me. Um, and so this is my 22 pistol now, my semi-auto one. Um, I do like the... I do like the trigger. It's just got a nice trigger on it. I know you don't want to dry fire rim fires. You don't want to break the firing pin um, all that much. Might put a laser or find a light that will fit on here. The light that I got now won't fit on here. It's a little too um, um, wide for this for this Picatinny rail here. Or the molded Picatinny rail. So who knows. Um, We'll get this to the range probably next week and we'll do us a range video with it. And we'll fire a couple hundred rounds out of it, at least. Me and Victoria will. Or Victoria and I will, because I've got to try to grammar, be a grammar Nazi to myself. Okay. Slingshot that bad boy. So, all in all, not a bad little gun so far. Um, MSRP on these are $199. I picked this one up for two oh four, um, so just five dollars over MSRP, so two hundred and four bucks plus tax and um, background check fees. Here in Tennessee, background checks ten bucks. So um, anyway, so yeah, two hundred and four dollars, three magazines, half the price of a Glock forty four. You get a threaded barrel, you get a rail, possible RMR location, adjustable rear sights, fiber optic front sights, and not one, but three 16 round magazines. And I suspect this thing will run like a top, and we'll find out next week. So anyway, remember folks, um, it causes nothing to be kind to one another. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the video. If you have a kel P17, let us know. Uh, have you had RMR it? If you put an RMR on it, let us know. Uh, did it still cycle fine? Um, did you put a light or a little laser on here? I got a laser on my uh, on my uh, M Smith Wesson M&P. So here we all just wanted to show you this tabletop on this new pistol to the collection, and. Like I said, folks, it doesn't cost nothing to be kind to one another. Also, get out and vote and hold the Republicans accountable and keep out the Democrats. This election is going to mean a lot and prepare for upcoming attacks from the far left and the communists from the Democratic Party because they've already thrown a, a fit over the new Supreme Court justice. And let's make sure that the Supreme Court Justice is going to be pro 2A this time. So we don't get kicked in the face like we did with Kavanaugh after we supported him. And then again, he's uh, Trump's going to pick a, a, a woman as well, which I don't have a problem with that. As long as she's pro 2A. <clears throat> and of course, the Democrats will find some man that she harassed 35 years ago to testify against her. So anyway... <clears throat> Remember, folks, uh, be situational, aware of your surroundings when you're out there. Pay attention to what's going on. Get out and vote. Vote often. Vote when you can. That doesn't mean vote more than once. Um, that just means vote when every time you can. Each election cycle, even in the midterms. Um, let's support the new Supreme Court justice that we're going to get. Uh, regardless whether the Senate uh, stays in GOP control or not, it's going to happen this year. So I rather see it before the election than after the election. That's why I voted for Trump the first time to sit this off, to put conservative justices on the bench. And as much as they dislike 
dislike it and disagree, really Democrats want conservative people on the benches. They don't want to admit it, but they really do. So anyway, we'll catch you next time, and be safe, and we'll see you later.